edition of the vlog. I'm here with uh, three very special guests here for the Rockland Nats home opener. I'm going to start off with Luke Kudum, a Rockland Nationals alumni. Um, he won the championship with the Rockland Nationals in 1976, which was the last season. Uh, obviously Chris Neal and Ryan Zingle, Chris Neal being an Ottawa Senators alumni and Zingle being an Ottawa Senators current player. Uh, so I just want to do something that could relate to this vlog. Um, I was going to ask them the question about their junior hockey days. So the question for all three of you guys is going to be, what was your best junior hockey moment? So we'll start off with you, Luke. Uh, Rockland Nats alum, what was your best junior hockey of, of course, in 74-75, uh, 76 in Rockland with the Nats when we won the, the Centennial Cup as the Canadian Championship Junior. Awesome. <laughs> That's what we hope to accomplish here in Rockland. I would uh, like to, to see that again in yeah, my living. <laughs> for sure, for sure. It's my last season as a national, so I, I'd love to, to accomplish that for you. Uh, then we'll step over to Ryan. You played through the USHL, hopped over to Ohio State. What was that like for you? Uh, my favorite memory is probably just being with the guys. I mean, I went to Lincoln, Nebraska, which was uh, different from Chicago. I was a city boy and uh, went to the farms and the uh, a small town, so just being with the guys and having no worries, it's, it's a lot of fun having no worries and just playing hockey. That's awesome. Thank you very much for being here. And Chris, was your you went through the OHL type thing, you were from Canada, but I'm being from the States, a little bit different backgrounds there. What was the junior hockey like for you? Well, junior hockey was exciting. Uh, obviously, getting the opportunity to play in the OHL it was a you know, dream come true at that moment. Uh, it's a step towards the NHL, but uh, you know, some of the, I remember my uh, first game, um, my parents drove all the way up to North Bay to watch me play and I stepped on the ice for a time out. That was my only, <laughs> that was my only shift, so um, I've come a long way since then, but uh, you know, it just goes to show you, you, you stick with it with hard work and dedication, it can pay off, you can pay a play a long, long time. Yeah, for sure. And I hate to mention the only shift again, but I remember a couple years back when you were in the playoffs, you stepped on the ice for, for a little bit. I, I know some family members and in my family meant a lot to them. You're a very big, uh, um, you're a very big player in, in their eyes, so they, oh, it meant a lot to them. Thank you. Yeah. And I want to thank all the three of you for being here today. Obviously, being here for the game and doing this short interview with me. So, enjoy the game. Thanks for having us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That was smooth. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I hope so. Yeah. Best of luck. With it doesn't all come in. <laughs> Please don't. All right, obviously we got a big night tonight. You don't have to be the most skilled guy. If you work hard at it, have fun, game in and game out. At the end of the day, you want team success. You guys want to win. You, you want to win together. And I remember uh, R.J. Amberger came in Lincoln when I was there and, and told me to uh, you know, enjoy it because it goes quick and this was his best time of his life. And then we went outside and we saw his girlfriend and his Maserati and black rims and I was like, you know what? He's a liar. I'd rather have that.
we were the better team, we were rewarded. All right, we might not have got those rewards in game one and game three and game four, but we definitely got it tonight. All right, Mr. Oh. Giacomo. Oh. Mr. Giacomo. And first win in 2018. There you have it guys, the Rockland Nationals 2018-2019 home opener. Honestly couldn't have went better than, than it did. The, the, the boys won the game, these crowds were full, the community rallied around the team. I got to interview Chris Neal and Ryan Dezingle like that, that was just awesome. I, I still can't believe it, um, but no, like I said, couldn't have asked for better for a home opener like that and to cherish those memories we're gonna we're gonna do this video i still haven't edited it yet but i'm really confident on how it turned out and with that being said i will see you guys on sunday for another game against the navin grads except it's going to be a navin so make sure you like you share you comment because i love going back and forth with you guys in the comments so that's gonna be it for tonight guys hope you enjoy be on your back.